Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is my personal channel for my videos, for my makeup videos, and yes, I'm still doing YouTube with my cousin, but this is just my own little YouTube, you know? Anyways, I wanted to talk about, oh shit. Okay, I wanted to talk about a very, like, a very sad topic, but some of you guys might not think it's sad, but I think it's sad because, okay, because I know a lot of young girls are watching me, some from middle school, so you guys might relate to this, okay? So when I was in middle school, if you know me, I went to school in Tulare at Live Oak. I had so many, no, actually, I lived in Visalia and then I had moved to Tulare and um, I told my mom like no I don't want to um, I don't want to go to this school I don't want to go to any school in Tulare I want to stay with my friends in um, Visalia like cuz I already I already grew up with them my whole elementary but I had to move so when I moved I started my first day at Live Oak and um, I knew one person from my elementary so that made me kind of feel okay so I was always going on with the day I made friends and I was like okay I love this school like it has cool ass people I freaking love live oak da, da, da. so the years pass on two years at middle school and I had made friends with all of the girls some of the girls but with all the girls and I fucking like you when people, when someone say high school really changes you, it fucking does. High school really does change you. And, um, I know some girls that I didn't go to middle school with and I was close with. And till this day, ever since I've gone to high school and I moved back to Visalia, I don't speak to them. And I fucking grew a bond with them where I'm like, fuck, I I like go back to like my old Facebook and I'm looking through the old posts and I'm like, damn, I miss them so fucking much. So <clears throat> one friend was my friend Daisy. Daisy. Daisy, I forgot her last name. But Daisy, my friend Daisy, I lived down the street from her and I would always go to her house. And she had her own problems, I had my own problems, but friends are some friends are the ones that make comfort you and make you feel good give you advice and that was Daisy Daisy is her own type of person she doesn't care what anybody thinks and Daisy is Daisy and if you're watching this Daisy I miss you and I hope you're doing okay and another friend was Fernanda Fernanda had people bullying her Fernanda had people talking shit about her but then again it was always me Daisy and Fernanda We'd go to the library, we'd just chill, like, we'd swim at Daisy's house. It was like, like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, it was that bond. And I just, ever since I went to high school, I lost touch with them. And uh, probably if I went to high school in Tulare, I wouldn't have got, I wouldn't have lost touch with them. But the, those were the girls that were always, like, having my back. And not just going out with me and partying with me. They really did have my back. And another friend was... Um, all these friends, I still have... The friends I'm about to name, I still do have touch with them here and there. But we don't, like, see each other. Was Jackie, Rebecca. Yeah, just our group. If you're watching this, then you know. Alexandra, Dianara, all of them. So, we'd always just be at this group and... Um, in school and just, you know, we just hang out together, be at lunch together. Like, that was a fucking vibe. So, and my other friend, I had like a couple best friends. But my other friend, Desiree, my friend Jasmine Cardenas, and my friend um, Celeste. I no longer talk to Celeste. Desiree, she had her baby on, she had her baby like recently. So, and I heard she's moving back to, back to like this town because she now lives in Arizona. So that's exciting. I went to her baby shower, got her a few things. So I still am in touch with them. 
um, Jasmine Cardenas, I don't talk to you anymore, but girl, I fucking miss you, our moms click, so I know if we do a family event and my mom invites your mom, your mom invites mom, mom, I will run into you, but if you go back to my fake face, my old Facebook post, you will see how fucking tight we were, and literally when people fucking, I'm saying this again because it's so true, so my middle school girls, if you have fucking friends that you ride with you rock with and you want to spend your high school with them make sure you really hold on to those friends because in the long run you are going to miss them and um in high school when you go to high school there's like different groups you hang out with there's you know you have different classes not it's not small like middle school it's huge so you you know you guys are still possible to hang out with each other but it just it's sad when like girls break up and stuff because i'm all about like i have no sisters i'm surrounded by boys i have no sisters so i'm always constantly like i want to do something i want to be with girls like you know like and my mom understands that that's why she lets my friends come over sometimes but not anymore because i don't have a best friend i am fucking lonely as fuck I don't have anyone I can sit down and do my makeup with. I don't have anyone I can go to the mall with. Nothing. I'm like, literally, I'm at my boyfriend's house and he's over here. Like, that's my fucking friend. And um, sometimes I wish. I'm like, fuck, I just want a best friend. And a best friend isn't someone who goes out and parties with you. And yeah, they can do that. But that that's just a, I don't know, a party friend because I've had a couple of those. But a best friend isn't someone who just is there, you know, to benefit them. If you're feeling down, a friend is the one that's going to be by your side and help uplift you. Friends give each other advice. Friends want to see you grow. And I know in this generation, there's girls that they don't, they, they go against females. They want to be in competition with females. But honestly, like, like, I see it as we need to get in a group and uplift each other yeah i know there's some girls that i have my differences with but i'm growing up i got shit i need to i got i have stuff i need to worry about drama isn't the one and so i don't have any friend right now i the people i do call my friends or acquaintances i i really can say that i have no fucking real ass friend my friends yeah they come around friends do come around here and there when you got a bottle when you got some bud but can you genuinely say that you have a friend to hear out your problems to you know to come over when when you're feeling down to come over when you guys just want to watch netflix and fucking eat like pigs no, I don't have a friend like that. And I don't know if it's because I'm in a relationship. I don't know if it's because I'm just my own person. But sometimes I feel like, you know, it's better to have no friends than to be surrounded by fake friends. And when I say fake friends are the people who don't care about you, don't care about your health, don't care about your emotions. They're just there either to benefit them or they're just there to have fun in the moment. And no, I had a best friend for four years. We had our differences, yes. Then I found out she was talking behind my back, telling my secrets to someone else. Like, that's not a friend. Even if we, even if we did fall off, you're not supposed to. You're not supposed to go, you know, you're not supposed to tell each other your guys' business because I'm the one who trusted you. I told you, I told you nothing else that I can tell any, I told you everything that I can't tell anyone else. I trusted you. I, you know, I poured out my feelings to you and for you to go behind my back and tell someone else that? No. That's not a friend. That was never was a friend. I don't know. But I don't care. She's, you know, I don't even know why I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm talking about this because I'm telling you guys, 
if you guys have those friends that you guys like down, that genuinely love you, that you guys are just sisters and best friends, keep them. Because while you're growing up, you're going to realize who the hell had your back, who is your friend or not. And I can say none of these girls are my friends. My friends are my family. I can go to my cousin Lisa's house. Lisa, I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring some pizza and I'm gonna bring some chips. Let's let's just chill. We'll talk. All right, come over. Lisa, let's go to Ulta. Let's go to the mall. All right, cool. You want to meet there? But you know, I forgot what I was saying. But like, yeah. Um. So. Yeah, friends are your fucking family. There's nothing like a fucking cousin that's like your sister. Like, that's, that's like, that's a person you, you know, you guys are going to be in, in each other's life for a fucking lifetime. That's your blood. And some friends, yeah, some friends, you guys do consider your family. But it's your fucking family. I can go to my mom and I can tell her how I'm feeling or the problems with me and Eric. But can I, can I go to someone else? Can I go to... Can I go to someone else with trusting them? Like, it's in my head. How will, how, will, how will I know that you're not going to, you know, sit here and make fun of me? Sit here and talk behind my back? That's why I just, you know, I want to have friends. I really do. I want to have a group of girls that, you know, we just go do everything together. We go get our nails done. But I can't. I don't know if it's, I don't know. I really, I don't, you know, I, was, I, I grew up with boys. I'd rather not just, I'd rather not make friends, but on the other hand, I'm a Gemini, so sometimes I want something and sometimes I don't. Sometimes I want a best friend. I want a friend because whenever I'm arguing with my boyfriend, I can go to her and, you know, ask her things. Uplift me when I'm down. The girls that I named, I genuinely hope you're doing good, and I miss you guys. We need to have a girls' day. Um, those are the girls that I I trust, and I cannot say that I cannot say that to every girl that I talk to, cause there's are they there there are girls that I I talk to and I I can't trust. There are my friends on social medias. I don't you know, but the girls that I named, those are like. You know, even though we had three years together, like, those middle school years are so fucking fun. And then you go to high school and you're like, you know, kind of like the brat dolls. They're in middle school and then they go to high school and then they're just like, what the fuck happened to us? So that's, that's a situation of mine that I'm in. Because I was just sitting the other day in the night, all alone, looking at my old Facebook posts and I was... I, I wouldn't say I'm really popular, but I was well-known, so uh, everyone knew me, and I was just like, how do people will post on my Facebook, and I would just look down and down, and there's like pictures of me and my friends, I'm like, fuck, I miss that so fucking much, go down, there's like posts like Jazzy writing on my thing, talking about I'm, I love you so much, da da da, like, and I wish that we still had contact to this day. So yeah, you guys think it's a sad topic, but I do. Like fuck. Your friends from middle school are like all grown up, you guys. And yeah, I'm not saying that to not grow up, to be in middle school forever. Like, yeah, you're gonna grow up. You're gonna have boyfriends. You're gonna have, people are gonna move away. But I'm saying like, if you have those few girls that you genuinely love, Keep them. Don't ever let go to those friends. Because I know, I could set an example. My cousin, Crystal, she has friends that she grew up with since she was like, I don't know how old she was, but she still is in contact with those girls. I'm not going to say their names, but she's still in contact with those girls. And I wish I had that connection with my middle school friends. Because I'm pretty sure... My cousin Crystal would be like, fuck, I miss them. And yeah, there's going to be, be a few that, you know, you guys have your differences, but there's at least one or two that you're like, okay, we grew up together. You can sit here and say, that was my girl since elementary. That was my girl since we were 
15 and I want to do that but I can't so yeah that was my topic today like friends know who your friends are know who your real friends are because people just in this generation people are gonna sit here listen to your problems and then tell everyone else like no this is my first video doing alone so if I'm a little bit mm, give me credit cuz but this shit's hard anyways guys I hope you guys like this video if you guys want me to sit here and talk about um, talk about other topics just comment below so like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys. Love you.